Today is Sunday, the 21st of December, and this is News from the Front. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode. Lots to talk about today. Uh, we're going to start out with a tweet from Elon that the Model S fleet around the world has now passed a billion kilometers. Not much more to say about that other than the fact that the Model S continues to go from strength to strength. Next, a shout out to uh, eagle-eyed Model S owner Keith Rome on Facebook, who spotted that the 2014 Supercharger map has been updated just in time for the end of the year, uh, and I'll show some more Supercharger info later in the video. So in the big news section, we have the tweet followed up by a blog post from Elon talking about battery swap. This was talked about quite a while ago and demoed very briefly. Um, now it looks like it's going to be beta tested down near the Hawthorne supercharging center. Uh, one of the owners managed to snap a picture of that being built out. They've taken over an old, I think it's a, an old car wash and are retrofitting it. Uh, if you've seen any of the battery swap videos, it requires quite a complex mechanism underneath the car to initially support the battery, disconnect all the bolts, lower the battery out, take it out, bring another one in and replace it. Elon said they can do that in about three minutes. Uh, it's been complicated by the fact that there's now the titanium shield at the front of the battery which connect, uh, protects it from debris if you run over it on the freeway. Um, they say that over time they'll be able to refine that process and get it down to about a minute which is a lot less than filling a gas tank. They say it's going to cost about the same as a full tank of gas for a premium sedan. Um, so, you know, with the price of gas in the US now in the mid 250s, I guess, um, whether they're going to pitch it at that level or back at the $4 level for a, you know, I, I don't know where the pricing is going to come out. Um, I guess some people are going to use it. Um, if you are really, really in a hurry, if you need to splash and dash, um, then maybe it works out. I think the bigger use case, and there was an answer on um, Cora about this, the bigger use case I think is more for things like taxi firms or police uh, agencies who might want to use the Model S but don't want to have it sat there even for an hour recharging in a supercharger. And the ability to swap those batteries automatically in three minutes or a minute could be a big boon to them. So we'll wait and see as the results come out over the next few weeks and months and what Tesla decides to do with that. I don't think they're going to release it widely. I don't think many people are going to use it just in the general public. Uh, but I think for fleet use it, it may be a big boon. Now a little bit of news from Norway, uh, a guy called uh, Chettel Christensen posted a photo uh, of the snow stuck to the back of his Model S as he's been driving, I think he did 75 kilometers and the snow built up on the back. Uh, it's an interesting and a real time view of how the air flows underneath the uh, diffuser and comes up the back of the car and then wraps around the sides of the car gives a, a beautiful sculptured view uh, and, and turns that uh, airflow into a, a solid model. Very interesting to see. Now some supercharged info and as usual I'll refer to my notes because there's quite a lot going on. Um, we've now passed 300 superchargers worldwide and in fact by my last count there are now 363 superchargers with a total of 1,982 stalls. Uh, and in fact, someone else posted that there are more supercharger stalls in North America now than there are Chademo um, DC charging outlets. Um, so quite a few have opened this week. We've got uh, 34 new superchargers since the, uh, in the last three weeks, since I last talked about superchargers. Um, 20 have started construction and there's also another six have entered permitting. So we've got, uh, if you look at the new 34 superchargers, we've got nine in North America, 18 in Europe and seven in Asia, including the first two superchargers in Australia. Um, big push in Germany with seven new superchargers there in the last three weeks. And if you look at the graph of supercharger openings, you'll see that Europe is going much, much faster than North America. And if you extrapolate the lines, then sometime within the next 10 weeks or so, we should see more superchargers in Europe than in North America. 
Finally, the stock closed up on Friday. Uh, from a low on Tuesday, it bounced back to 219.29. It's up over 10% since it's hitting the low. Who knows where it's going to go from here? I don't think anybody can predict this. The wild ride continues, but at least for the moment, it's on an upward trajectory. That's it for news from the front today, short and sweet. See you soon.